Shema Yashallah Yahawa Al Hai Nahu Yak Yahawa Kai Saka Shema Yashallah Yahawa Al Hai Nahu Yahawa Kai Shema Yashallah Yahawa Al Hai Nahu Yahawa Kai Hear O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Okay. Hakodashim Shah Yahweh Shalom, Bahasham Yahweh Katwa, Bahasham Mashak Yahweh Shah. La Asha La Wama Mari Hawa La Rasha Yamsa. Alright. This video is going to be uh, for you brothers that's uh, stumbling and fumbling at the virgin birth and uh, pretty much being a Catholic, man, a Roman Catholic, man. This is for you Roman Catholics, man. We're going to get the word in uh, Isaiah 14. We're going to get the Hebrew word for virgin. And we're going to show you that this word for virgin does not mean a woman that never had sex. Okay? So it tell you that in uh, Matthew, it, it got a... Uh, in Matthew, you tell you, you know what I'm saying? This was, this was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. So we're going to go to Isaiah 7.14. It says, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel right a, a, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel which is I'm I'm no Allah meaning God with us right so let's look up this word virgin and let's see what it say. Which y'all see this word, it says Alma. Alma, which you know what I'm saying, brothers pronounce it as Ilama, but we know this word virgin and we're gonna show you what it means, man. It's like it. Alma, Ilama, right? It says the King James translates Strong's 5959. Right? Because that's the number for uh, Alma. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that's how you brothers would say it. You know what I'm saying? Your brothers not really too in, in, too too much into the paleo. Your brothers more into the, you know, that Jewish, that Jewish Hebrew. But, uh, Ilama. Alma, right? Let's look at this word virgin. Because it said a virgin shall conceive, right? It says virgin. Young woman. Of marriageable age, meaning this woman, you know, what I'm saying she's at the age of, that she can get pregnant. It says newly married or a maid, right? So this word is used for a woman that just been married. That's why he, the angel told her, man. You know, what I'm saying he told him, don't fear to take her, okay? And an angel called her his wife, man. Okay. You brothers, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to get into that, but not on this video. It says, because uh, this video is going to be the word virgin, the two Hebrew words for virgin, Bathwala and Ilama. Okay? So we on the word Ilama right now. And let's see what they say. Because this is the word that's used in Isaiah 7, 14. It says, they come with uh, they, a couple of scriptures, but they say, it says, used of a youthful spouse recently married Isaiah 7 and 14 so this word uh, by uh, Ilama is used for a woman that just got married man and then it says see note at the end of the art it says the notion of unspotted virginity is not that which this word conveys okay so the, the lexicon tell you that this word is uh not used for a woman that never had sex, man. That easy. For the proper word is right here, which some say Bethula, but it's Bathwala. Okay, so if if she didn't have sex, the word should be Bathwala. Okay. Unless you brothers can prove that the word Bathwala was in Isaiah. Other, if you can't pr prove that the word Bathwala was in Isaiah, then you just need to shut down, man. Seriously. Paul tell you he took on the seed of Abraham. He was made like his brother, man. You know? How 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 can he be made like his brother if he don't have a physical dad that, that he sprang out of? Because all Israel sprang out of 
a physical dad, man. And then you you know, brother talking about uh the one brother, I think the brother named Judah Israel. He what did he say? Let me go back over here. Talking about uh Israel was the son of uh Oh yeah, he's talking about how uh Israelites were you know, Israelites was uh also called son of man. <laughs> so that cut you, bruh. You cut your own self, man. That's why my brother Shield of Wisdom ain't want to respond to you, man. Because you cut yourself. That's why the scripture says answer not a fool according to his foolishness, man. Because you talking about all the, uh, the, you know, the prophets was used as son of man. But guess what, brother? All the prophets had a physical lineage, man. They had a dad. We have a law, brother. We have the law. The law says that we are to declare our lineage after the house of our fathers. Okay? So that's just, you, you cut yourself, bro. Okay, they're the son of man. Why are they the son of a man? Okay? Because they have physical lineage. Israelites, we declare our lineage after the house of our fathers. And like my brother said, man, you know, I, I know we, we didn't get to uh, finish that video, but we're going we gonna to do it again. But uh, like my brother said, man, if Yahweh Shai was just born of Mary, that means he's not an Israelite. Okay, because Yahweh, Yahweh is not an Israelite, the Heavenly Father, he ain't an Israelite. Okay, he's he, he's the God of Israel, Yahweh, man. I, uh, Israelite, that's a people, man. Okay, Most High is not an Israelite, but he dwells in the Israelites. The Most High is Allah Hayyim. Okay, power, the judge. Okay, the Almighty. The everlasting, the ancient of days. Now we're gonna go to this word about the walla, right? Let's see what the word about the walla says in the lexicon. A virgin, pure and unspotted, so called as being separated and secluded from intercourse with man. So this is the word about the walla. The word about the walla is the to, to uh when a woman has not dealt with man, man. She have not had intercourse. Then they, they put especially Mary in here, which that's a bone. So hopefully you brothers don't choke on that. It says virgin. Uh, let me go down. It come with the scripture, Genesis 24 and 16. And the girl was a virgin, and no man know her. Okay? So we see this word, Bathwala, is mainly being used for a woman that haven't had sex, man. Genesis 24 and 16. And a damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. Exodus 22 and 16. If a man entice a maid, that is not betrothed. Meaning this woman is a, uh, she never had sex, man. She's not engaged in some somebody, man. Okay, because if the man was to betroth this woman and she had sex before, that would be adultery. But we got Exodus 22 and, uh. 17, if a father other refused to give her unto him, he shall pay the money according to diary of virgins. Leviticus 21, uh, verse 3. And for his sister, a virgin that is nigh unto him, which had had which hath had no husband. Okay, so we clearly see these scriptures, Genesis 24 and 16. You know what I'm saying? Exodus 22, 16, Exodus 22, 17. Well, mainly Genesis 24 and 16 and Leviticus 21 and 3 is telling you, uh, this is dealing with a woman that never had a man. It says, Leviticus 21 and 3, I'll read again. And for his sister, a virgin, that is nigh unto him, which hath had no husband, for her may he be defiled. So this is the word Bathwala. So we clearly see the word Bathwala is used for a woman that have not had a husband. Genesis 24 and 16. The damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin. Neither had any man known her. So this word, why they didn't use this word in Isaiah? Huh? Oh, man. Genesis 24 and 16, and the girl was a virgin, no man know her. It says, Bathwala, a virgin, pure and unspotted, so called as being separated and secluded from intercourse with man. Okay? 
Genesis 24 and 16, Leviticus 21 and 3. Bathwala is dealing with a woman ain't never know a man. She ain't, she ain't have a husband. Now let's go to Ilama. The word virgin that's used in Isaiah 7, 14. Newly married, young woman, marriageable age, a maid. Ilama. Uh, Jesenius Hebrew child lexicon. What did it say? Uh, use of a youthful spouse recently married. So this this word is used for uh, a woman that just got married, man. Ilama. Because Joseph went in unto her, man. Okay? It tell you that Mary, Mary said it out of her own mouth to Yahweh Shah. She told Yahweh Shah that Joseph was, was his father. She never used the word father-in-law because the word father-in-law is all throughout the scriptures, man. So if, if, if he was the father-in-law, it should be in there, man. It's not in there. No scripture that say that uh he, he was the father-in-law. They said it's not this Joseph's son, man. But you brothers want to follow Roman Catholic doctrine, go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? But you're going you gonna, you know what I'm saying, be judged for that too, man. At least you repent, man. You brothers better repent. ASAP. It says uh the notion of unspotted virginity. So, right? They telling you this word, Ilama, the notion of unspotted virginity is not that which this word conveys. For the proper word is Bathwala. Okay? So, if you want to say she ain't never had sex, the Hebrew word is supposed to be Bathwala or Bethula. It's not. It's not in there, man. Okay? This is the word Bathwala. No, this is Ilama right here, Slaki. Okay, because the word uh, Ilama means a woman that has sex. Bathwala means a woman that never had sex, okay? Genesis 24 and 43. Oh, Slaki, no, I don't want that one. I wanted uh, Proverbs 30 and 19. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. So my question to all you brothers out there, what do you what does a man do with a maid? Huh? This word maid is, is the same word that's using used in Isaiah 7 14. It's right here in your face. Right here in your face. Therefore the Lord shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin. H5959. What is H5959? Alma. Ilama. Newly married. Okay, used of a youthful spouse recently married, man. Used of a youthful spouse recently married. Okay, you brothers error not knowing the scriptures, man. Huh? It says the way of a man with a maid. What does a man do with a maid? Shalom.